Hi, and welcome back to the Cheeky Crypto Podcast. My name's Chris, and it's fantastic to have you back with us for another podcast video. And in today's video, we're going to have a look at the market. We're going to have a look at everything that's happening because there's some big stuff to cover off. If you enjoy this sort of content, mash up the like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, tap in that bell, selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video. Don't forget to jump in the Discord. It's absolutely free to join. Over 6,300 people supporting one another navigate this space safely. Definitely worth checking that out. Right. Well, let's get down to the desktop. So we're going to start on coin market cap, the best place to start really. Um, we are at $1.06 trillion for the total market cap of all crypto, up 5.77% at the time of recording. Bitcoin at 23,269.69, up 8.63% in the last 24 hours, 11.73 in the last seven days. So this is something that Nick's covered on a Bitcoin video update yesterday and something that I've been saying an awful lot. Who benefits the most from, you know, this big, you know, bear market rally? Because that's what it is. It is not the start of the bull market, in my opinion. Um, time will tell whether that plays out as we anticipate it to uh, and, you know, we expect new lows. And when I say new lows, maybe not new lower lows, but new lows. So just be mindful of that. You know, this is a, a space that, you know, sees a few candles, a few green candles, that is, and gets super hyped that the, the bottom is in and we're off to the races. Um, you know, and it's a, a bull market now. Uh, it's too soon to say that. Now, you know, I would love uh, a, a bull market. Don't get me wrong. Um, but I just don't think that we're there just yet. But we will let you know if that um, thought process changes. Um, a little bit disappointed that a few people uh, flipped bullish a, a little bit too quickly. Um, I did say, you know, and you can go back through the videos to expect a, a you know, a bear market rally. Uh, it was coming. Um, so, yeah, look, it's up to each individual as to what they, they do in the space. But before we sort of continue to look at some of this stuff, I really want to focus on keeping people safe in the crypto space and one of the big scams that you know has reared its head recently is um to do with nfts so if you find a random nft in your metamask wallet for example do not uh click it and you know accept a smart contract on the metamask wallet um, these are scams uh, scam nfts that are sent to your metamask and basically, in a nutshell, what happens is when you accept and uh, sign the contract, they will have access to your wallet and they will drain it of all your NFTs and all of your crypto. So just be really, really careful. I'm going to link this in the Discord for you to read through at your leisure. Just make sure that you, you know, you, you keep safe in the space. I really wanted to flag that to, to everybody. Um, we've got US home loan banks lent billions of dollars to crypto banks, uh, according to a report. Signature Bank and Silvergate reportedly borrowed over $13 billion from the federal home loan system. Uh, and obviously this was all pumped into to crypto. So if you remember uh, a while back, I did mention that my expectations were for non-crypto related companies to be impacted heavily with everything that's happened in the the crypto space you you know if you've been watching the channel you would have heard me say this uh, this is what i was talking about this stuff uh, and expect more of it because um you know there's a lot of companies that have been doing shady things um in the traditional you know markets uh, and, and banking industry or finance industry um within the crypto space um but you know that there really is hasn't until now been anyone really talking about it and uh you know this is this is exactly what i was uh, referring to this sort of activity so you know just be be mindful that some of these banks they're also struggling for for liquidity right um but you know at the moment my thoughts and opinions and i've been saying this to 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 the community for some time you know with this pump um the people that benefit the most are the market makers the exchanges and the lending platforms uh, and, and companies you know the big players in this space so just be aware of of that right there's a lot of liquidity being um you know 
taken off the table and um you know all that sort of wonderful stuff so just be mindful of what's actually going on in the space um one thing to to mention obviously binance pretty much um taking the biggest lion share of um you know retail investment um and uh, crypto on their exchange the exchange you know is you know single-handedly the largest uh, in the space and has uh, attracted the largest number of retail investors from countries facing high inflation so you know again a really interesting article and definitely worth reading through i will drop it in the discord and then we've got bitcoin miner sent almost all of its btc to binance and this is my point right on-chain data source as highlighted 5,592 BTC worth some 124 million was transferred out of the miners address in the past three days and ended up on Binance and you've got all the details here right so look let's be really really honest here and I will say it again who benefits the most I'm telling you now it's not retail that are benefiting from this you know sizable pump unless you're taking profits of course uh, and that is something that, you know, I can't recommend any financial advice. But, you know, if it was me, I would definitely be making sure that I took, you know, my profits um, because that's what we're here. We're here to make money. Right. Like, And if you don't take money off the table, then you're not making money. You know, if you're not taking that crypto and, and selling it, you know, in, in the pumps, you know, when everybody's greedy, then uh, ultimately you're not good at this game, in my opinion. Not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. You know, treat this as educational purposes only. Go do your own research. Um, but these pumps are for for taking profits, in my opinion. Um, look, there's so much that I could talk about. I want to keep this video as short and punchy uh, as as possible. Jump into the Discord if you want to learn more about crypto space and you know what's actually happening in the space. Um, definitely worth the time. We've got a fantastic community to support one another, navigate this space safely. Stay on the right side of this. I think there's going to be many people that get wrecked. Um, you know, be on the right side, and make some money in this space. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, mash up that like button, subscribe, tap that bell, select in all the notifications so you don't miss any future updates. Because you know, we highlighted the likes of FTX before it collapsed, Block by uh, BlockFi, if I get my words out, before it collapsed and many others so you know we've navigated this space impeccably and uh, you should benefit from it so you know make sure that you get the notifications when the next video drops thanks for watching take care and i catch you in the next one